Hello and welcome to today's video. So today's going to be a bit of a short one and it's also going to be about astrology. So this isn't something I usually talk about, but through my own healing process and through observing patterns, working with like multiple different individuals at the same time and seeing the same patterns in everybody that I'm working with happen all at the same time, it makes you ask the question, why is this all happening when I have one client in America, one client in Europe, one client in Australia, one client in the UK, and they all have the same symptoms flare up at exactly the same time. And I've come to realize that this is really connected with like astrology, what's happening with, with the energies. And I, I've picked up on something that I'm feeling very much myself and I've already began to observe these patterns in, in other people and some of my clients. So I wanted to share this with you. First of all, so that you're a little bit more prepared. So you, when these things are happening to you, they're not just like, why is my life falling apart? What's going on? So you're actually gonna say like, be able to derive some meaning from this. But also I'm gonna hopefully give you some strategies so you can understand what the symptoms mean, what the flare ups mean, how this ties into the energy and what you're being called to do or change or transform. What, what, what direction these energies are kind of pulling you in. So if this is a bit like, out there for you because this isn't what I usually talk about. Just just hear me out, okay? I didn't believe in this stuff either, right? I didn't believe in like emotions and trauma and astrology. I was like the straight scientific guy, you know, give me the scientifically referenced papers. Give me the podcast where they're talking all about gut health and specific microbes. And like that was me and that's where I started. And I didn't I didn't choose this life, you know, this life chose me. So there's there's so much wisdom here. There's so much healing, there's so much insight, there's so much to be found. So if this is kind of new to you, just 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 hear me out and, and try it. And you, this, this is what happened to me. I was like, okay, I'll hear it. I'll hear him out. I'll try it. And I just did this like two or three times and it was it was uncannily accurate. And I was like, okay, there's something here. And now I really truly believe there is really something here. So, so what's going on? The thing that's most important that I really want to talk about today is just recently, so just a couple of days ago, Mars went retrograde. So you're like, okay, wow, what does that mean? So in astrology, you want to think about these things as representing certain concepts or certain ideas or metaphysics ties in really nicely here because these things represent things. So Mars itself as, as a planet represents certain things and you probably already have a good idea of some connotations of what Mars represents. So you've probably heard like men are from Mars and women are from Venus. So you're going to be thinking already this Mars energy is more of a masculine based energy and that's 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 very true. So there's more of a masculine focus on this energy. You also might be thinking, well you've heard like Mars is the god of war from other from other types of um, cultures and the way different societies perceive these things. So you can see there's this masculine trend, there's this concept of war, and these gives you some ideas of what Mars represents. So you can look in astrology, you can go on Google and type, what does Mars represent astrologically? And it will tell you the things that it represents. And Mars going retrograde now means, it. so obviously Mars just continues spinning around the sun exactly the same, but what a retrograde means is that on Earth, it looks like Mars is moving, so it's been moving forward. It looks like Mars is moving backwards in the sky. So a retrograde basically just means it, from Earth's perspective, it looks like the planet is moving backwards or it's, it's standing still. When it stands still, it's even, it's even more powerful. It's like really laser focused on, so it's like instead of it just, so think about a retrograde, so let's talk about retrograde. What does a retrograde mean? So when a retrograde happens, it's like we're kind of going back and we're reevaluating these concepts. So this is a time to think about the energies that are being represented here and how they're playing out in our lives and rework them where they're not working. So this is the most common type of retrograde you've probably heard of is Mercury retrograde. So this is, this is you hear like Mercury, Mercury, Mercury retrograde and you think like, oh, my life's gonna fall apart, everything's gonna go wrong. What, what's happening here is the, the planet Mercury represents like the way that we think and the way that we communicate. So if you're thinking, if you're communicating, and there's, there's problems with this, a retrograde is gonna help you to see where these things, where you're not doing these things to, your, to, your, to the best ability that you have, and it's gonna make you reevaluate how you can do them better. So with Mars going retrograde, we're really gonna be looking at this masculine energy, this war energy, this. So this is like the, the raw energy of rage. So this is self-confidence, this is boundaries, this is, the energy of like getting things done, of, progr of progress, of moving forward, of conquest. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna 
give us an idea of looking at like, okay, where are we and where do we have our goals set? And are these actually goals that I want to pursue? Are these actually, is this actually a direction that I want to move forward with? And if it is, and you're really set in your goals, am I actually going about this in the best way to get to where I want to go? So this is going to really help you to reevaluate these things. And this will manifest physically as symptomology as well. So your symptoms are not random. Every single symptom that you have is very specifically a clue. It's your internal guidance system, your compass pointing you in, in a direction. And most people kind of think symptoms are random or they don't assign much meaning to them because they don't know how to understand or interpret what the symptom is saying. So if you've got, say you've got a man talking to you in Chinese and you don't talk Chinese, he's just babbling loads of words you don't understand. It's like you could, to you, it's just nonsense. It doesn't mean anything. But to him, it's, it's very specific. He knows exactly what he's telling you. And it's exactly the same with your body. So during this period of Mars going retrograde, we've got this, these metaphysical principles of raw rage, anger, energy, of assertiveness, of direction, of conquest, of, of war, of masculine energy. And we're going to be reevaluating what these, how we do these things in our life and what we need to do to change these things so that they're, they're, they're healthier, so that they're better, so that they're more optimal for our, our authentic self-expression. So manifesting physically, this is going to look like, first of all, the, the mind is very masculine by nature. So the mind and the thought process and logic is more masculine, whereas the, the physical body, emotions, these are more feminine concepts. So this is going to be a heavy focus on the mind. So changing your mindset, changing the way that you perceive things, changing the way that you think about things, not just changing not just changing like you trying to solve the problem, but changing how you go about solving problems in general. And it's going to be with less, you're going to probably be reevaluating that it's going to be less of a, a dominating tyrannical masculine energy. And you might see this not just outside of yourself, but inside of yourself. Like some people try to dominate themselves into productivity. You know, they try to force themselves to do work or they force themselves to work out or they force themselves to do a restrictive diet so they can heal. And this is going to be really bringing up an energy of making us reevaluate this and see whether this harshness, this over almost toxic masculine perspective of, of doing this is actually helping us and what alternatives to doing it this way might actually look like so we can actually get closer to an authentic expression of, of what health is. So there's a big concept shift in the mind, but there is also some in the body. So there are some, some indicators of this, this kind of energy inside the body. So this would be twofold. So I would look first of all at, at legs. So your legs, so specifically your knees and your feet, these are like your big supportive joints and they're what, they, they're, they give you your direction. So with this big retrograde happening and this big shift in our masculine energy and masculine energy is all about goal setting, goal achieving, conquest, moving towards a certain direction, this might make you reevaluate, are you walking in the right direction in your life? And this could manifest as foot, ankle, and knee problems. I have got a knee problem, I have another knee problem, I have an ankle problem, and I have a toe problem. And I know this is all because I'm walking forward in my life in a way that isn't aligned with my highest self. So this, I know this is bringing all of this up, and now it's going into retrograde, this is going to really trigger a, okay, it's going to help me see where I'm doing it wrong and where, how I need to change and how I need to do this differently. So this is going to affect the legs the knees, the ankles, the, the legs in general, the direction that we're moving and how we move forwards, how we take steps forward in our life. This is going to be changing our perception. So this could affect your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your sensory input, because this is sort of how you perceive the world and how you, how you, you take this sensory input and process it into information to move forward. And we're going to, it's not going to be so much that the, the, the senses are going to be affected, but it's more about how we perceive and interpret the senses. So you might taste exactly the same thing, but you might assign a different meaning to the taste, for example. So it's not so much about the senses changing themselves, but changing how we perceive our senses and changing what we make our senses mean. And finally, there's going to be some gut stuff going on. So this is going to be really connected to the stomach especially stomach acid. So stomach acid is this really, so it's, it really is like Mars energy embodied. So it's this raw, destructive power that 
Like your, your stomach acid is so strong. If you didn't have the acid, the, the acid protecting barrier in your gut that you do, your stomach acid would just dissolve right through you. It would dissolve all of your organs. It would dissolve your bone. You just, it would just completely dissolve you. It's strong enough to dissolve metal. It is incredibly powerful. So right now we're going to be seeing if this energy isn't being, if, so your body might be somatizing some of this energy and you might be seeing this as heartburn, reflux, gastritis, low stomach acid, too much stomach acid, different kinds of stomach acid problems based on how you're expressing this, this, this energy. So if you're not projecting this raw, assertive, goal orientated masculine so i think stomach acid is this energy of, of i take what i need from my food you know you eat the food but the food doesn't do anything if you don't take those nutrients from it and it's really going to help you reevaluate this so this is going to be looking at like boundaries this is going to be looking at self-worth and self-value like do i charge what i'm worth am i being paid what my work is worth am i in a in, am i in a career and am i going in a direction that works for me and this is going to apply to everything across the board. So this is all about direction. So right now you've probably got one primary key theme that's manifesting in your life. Be it a health problem, be it a money situation, be it relationships. The theme here is to look at, is this the right direction? Am I taking, am I trying to find the solution in the right direction? And how can I reevaluate the way that I'm trying to solve this problem? And how can I try to look at this problem in a different way and try to solve it in a different way? And there's probably going to be a tendency for it to be less harsh, less aggressive, less dominating and more compassionate, more open and more embodied of the, the, the true positive healthy masculinity, which is a, an awareness a really taking everything on board and seeing everything in its wholeness. And if you're struggling to do this, so if you're struggling to make these shifts, you may find this manifests somatically in your body. So you might be finding knee problems, joint problems, ankle problems, foot problems. You might be finding sensory, sensory problems with your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and your, your skin, your, how, you, how you touch and perceive things. So if you already have some type of sensory processing disorder, autism, dyslexia, dyspraxia, maybe something like MS, so it's affecting your senses, it's gonna be bringing this up so you can reevaluate how you can actually find solutions with this, especially in the lens, the context of the masculine energy, which is the, the concept of, or the thought process of, or what we think about it and the way that we go about trying to solve this. And, and finally, the gut, so especially the stomach acid. So this is gonna be like potentially gastritis, reflux, different types of digestive upset that are really located in the stomach, especially connected to stomach acid. And if you want these problems to resolve, if you want to find relief from these physical health problems, you need to work on integrating these concepts in yourself. So you need to find a new direction. You need to move forward in a different way. You need to integrate your own personal power. You need to, you need to tap into that raw, aggressive, taking energy, that energy of, of dominance, and reevaluate how you how you use these energies in your life and find a new way to do it. Ivana says, "Amazing info, thank you. I'm really glad you that you're finding this interesting and helpful. As I said, this is the first kind of video of this type that I've that I've done. So if you are finding it helpful, please let me know because I like to talk about this stuff. I just don't know how receptive people are to it because it is definitely completely intangible. You know, there's no there's no tangibility to it because it's just like planets flying around in the sky and all oh, this is going to mean this and this metaphysically represents this. So it can be harder to talk about because I know that not everybody can perceive in this way. But this again, so if it's quite, it's quite interesting that I'm making this video and we're talking about perception and the way that we see things, I'm inspired by this astrological event to make this video. Now you're watching this video and maybe this is challenging your perception or changing how you think about things and how you think about the problems or the symptoms or the health the health problems or the direction that your life's going and this is part of that shift so follow your intuition follow your inspiration you're playing a part in this we're, we're all in this together and this is part of a, of a big shift and that's what made me really want to make this video because this is going to be really big especially for even so this is going to affect everybody because everybody has masculine energy this is going to be especially powerful for young men especially young men that feel that feel disempowered or have a tendency towards a feminine energy and they need to embody their masculine energy and it just so happens that i'm going to a masculine energy uh, retreat on tomorrow 
and it's a five day retreat and that's literally just as all of this stuff is happening. So that's not a coincidence, that's absolutely perfectly in alignment with all of the astrological energy, all of this stuff that's happening and it's going to be a really a really productive and a very powerful time. We've had an eclipse happen previously, we also have an eclipse coming up um, early in the month as well and this Mars retrograde is something that's going to last until January next year. So this is going to be you're going to get probably a big bump as, as, as things start, which I'm feeling right now. So this can be the flare-ups of the symptoms. But then there's going to be a process of learning how to use this energy in a different way. And then if you've resolved it, you'll probably feel nothing in January. If there's still problems persisting that you haven't integrated, you'll probably feel another bump in January as the universe is trying to kick your ass into gear and saying, like, look, you have work to do here. You have this to integrate. You have this to upgrade. You have this to change and shift. So... That's everything for me today. If you have any questions, please let me know. As I said, I'm not an astrologer. So I, this is, the, what I'm telling you is like, like basic level stuff. You can find this stuff on Google, piecing it together. And, and what, what I'm trying to help you with here is the, where my expertise is, is understanding these, astro, these astrological concepts, even though they're very basic and rudimentary to my level of understanding, but combining these with the metaphysical principles and with health and the human body, which is definitely where my area of expertise is. So applying this, this concept, these concepts I don't fully comprehend in their fullness, but bringing them into how it manifests physically inside the body and causes health or disease and this metaphysical and emotional integration process, I totally get that. So this is why maybe this is a little, a little, a little bit different than some of the other stuff you've seen because I definitely have a, a speciality there. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And let me know if you enjoyed this. This was really fun to do. I'll see you soon. Ciao.